of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> to the 400 subscribers I've gotten, 400 who have followed this channel, thank you so much. This used to be like a dream, like, I know 400 isn't huge, it's, it, I mean like, there's people who have so much more, but 400 is still, that, that's still a lot of people, that means there's 400 people out there who are, saw my channel and thought that it was interesting enough to subscribe, and that is incredible. Ever since I mentioned the road trip, I've gained so much attention and that is just amazing to me to see people who are interested in watching my videos and it's a talent. It's not something that everyone can do. I didn't even realize this until recently, but a lot of people have trouble editing. There's a lot of people who don't know how to edit videos. There's a lot of people who don't know how to film videos and it sounded crazy to me because it seems so easy to me, but thinking back, I remember there was a time when holding a camera out in public was awkward. Things like that, there's a lot of things that people either don't know, don't want to, or think they can't. And one of the hardest things for content creators is putting so much work and effort, spending countless hours on editing videos and spending a whole day making this content and to see nothing from it, to see no views, no subscribers. And that's really difficult to do. But at the same time, seeing that people are engaging in your videos, seeing that people are interested in watching your content is just, it's a huge confident boost and especially for me it really means a lot to see 400 people that actually subscribe to this channel thank you so much and i hope that we just keep on growing sorry this video is going to be uploaded a lot later than usual i was trying to consistently upload videos at eight o'clock every single day um, i wanted my videos to be published eight o'clock in the morning so when you wake up it's already there I figured that was a good time eight o'clock so i can you know get it up get it ready by the time i wake up the video is already published and so that's when I was publishing them but this one's gonna be late and uh this is why all right so the audio is probably gonna be awful because I took the mic off but I am at Longview Drive Shaft Forks 4 in Longview Texas because the my brother sheep the XJ needed an alignment really bad it's the world of difference Holy cow, it's so much better. Okay, so the audio is still going to be kind of weird because I'm going back to my old mic, the mini mic. So the audio is going to have a little bit of, of off sound, but hopefully it's decent. Yeah, it's only like 152, so I have plenty of time to put those new shackles on. And once I do that, I can lift this up, get the shims in. <laughs> Okay guys, I am filthy, so I kind of stopped the whole filming process because I don't want to get my camera dirty. And I'm kind of cracking down. I'm like, I'm busting this thing out. Okay, so the drive shaft vibration, I think it's because of the pinion angle, blah, blah, blah. It's got this shim inside. This is like two degrees, right? This is the one I'm putting in it. That's the difference. This is what came out. This is what I'm putting in. That's insane. <laughs> Well guys, I am ticked off. I had a goal on what I wanted to set, like I had a goal of what I was gonna get done, and I can't because of the stupid, you know, 20 minute job rule, where, you know, 20 minute job is never a 20 minute job. Yeah, it was a very long day yesterday. Um, this was my schedule the last two days. Sunday, you saw the video where I explained, you know, I was taking a little break that day, and I did, you know, it was, I woke up at around 7.30, 8 o'clock, went to church. After that, I made that video. That night, I got to work. And that's when you saw the video about me doing the whole, putting the whole, I put the wooden platform in the back, I insulated everything. By the time I was done doing that, it was around 4 o'clock. And I decided that I probably needed to get some sleep. I was tired from working and I had been up that whole time. Ever since 8 o'clock, I had been up. So 4 a.m., I went to sleep. I woke up at about 6.30 so I could get to the Silver Grizzly. I got about two hours of sleep and then I hadn't slept since. From that point, 
I didn't really get a, I, I, I started a vlog, as you saw, but I didn't really get to keep vlogging because I was covered, head to toe, oil, grease, I was rolling around on the floor, I was, I was, a, I, was I looked horrible, I looked like I just came back from war, like, I was just covered in dirt and head to toe, it was insane. I ended up doing that shackles, I had to drop my fuel tank, I tried to, I couldn't cut the bolt off, and the bolt would go through and hit the fuel tank, so I ended up having to drop the fuel tank. I had to, uh, it was, it was a disaster. After I replaced the shackles, everything was torqued down. It was probably, I want to say about almost midnight, probably. I got everything figured out. I cleared some stuff off the Jeep and I was going to actually just drive it around the block, see how it felt. I hadn't got to turn it on in a good while and I missed it. As far as I was concerned, I thought I fixed it when I re rewired that stupid PCM. So I've literally done everything. It's got a Cherokee, it's got like a 97 Cherokee 4 liter uh, PCM inside of it. It's got thinking everything everything is done to this jeep and like i've checked everything um from everything i can tell i don't know why it's not turning over it um i was very frustrated yesterday i'm a lot more calm today because i think that it's the crankshaft position sensor now the crankshaft position sensor is new i've heard people mention it before so it shouldn't have a problem but um it is from o'reilly i would like to go get the jeep fixed today i do want to see what's wrong with it get it started because that, that's, that's a big problem if it doesn't get fixed. So yeah, so this is going to be a little bit of an interesting vlog today. But basically, if I was going to film a vlog today, all you're really going to see me doing is sitting in this chair, watching movies, and or, and or laying in bed. Because, like, I don't really have anything else. I'm going to try to reset my sleep schedule, get some good sleep tonight, so I can start again fresh tomorrow and start creating the vlogs again. Again, sorry if this video is a little late, but I need to give a huge thank you to someone. This is probably the reason I didn't sleep last night because this was the biggest confidence boost I could have ever gotten. I got one Patreon subscriber. When I set up Patreon, it was so I hopefully, of course, you know, like I was hoping I would get Patreons, but, you know, hoping to get Patreons and actually getting a Patreon are two completely different things. And I actually didn't expect to get any Patreon until I, you know, started my road trip. Because, you know, talking, I've been talking about it for two years. Actually starting it is a completely different thing. And I would assume that's why most of you are here. You're really interested in seeing this road trip, living in a Jeep, blah, blah, blah. But I actually got a Patreon and that was like, blew my mind. That was insane. And I cannot, that was insane. So to Bruce Jividen, I hope I said that right. It's Bruce Jividen. My number one, my first subscriber, my, my first Patreon, my first Patreon pledge, you are amazing and I cannot thank you enough. That is, I don't know why you did it. I don't, you know, I don't, that's just insane. Like that, it means a lot to me. I hope that anytime to anyone who, to, to Bruce Jividen and to, and to whoever, ever, whoever the, I can't even think, see, I can't even talk. So to Bruce Jividen, and to whoever pledges to be a patron to me in the future, I just want you to know that I do not feel entitled to anything you guys give me, but I always will appreciate it. It means a lot to me that somebody out there actually enjoys my content enough, actually sees the work I put into these videos, and actually wants to see me succeed, wants to, wants to actually give me a little bit of your money to help support me to be able to make videos. $5, to some people that's not a lot, but I think that's insane that somebody actually is willing to give a stranger $5 every single month just to help support them to be able to live their dreams and support them to make this content. I do this because I want to. I do. I make these videos because I enjoy. I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy, you know, being able to create content that I hope other people find entertaining. But to actually have people enjoy it and know that they appreciate it and want to help support me. That is incredible to me, and it really means a lot. So thank you so much. I can't believe I made it to 400 this fast, and I can't wait till I get out on the road. I really want to get that done ASAP. So I'll update you guys tomorrow on the Jeep situation. Hopefully it gets it started. Also, let's check it out. Love this shirt. If you like this shirt or this coffee mug, Nature Shots down below. It's a little company I made. I make t-shirts and coffee mugs. I personally, I made them not because... 
it's not really merchandise it's just you know something i made i really liked the idea of nature so i take pictures and i upload them so if you like any of those down there link is down below you can go purchase those that'll also help support me but yeah that's all i've got and have a great day guys what is freedom? Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. Silver Grizzly Coffee is the bomb, by the way. Love it. Love the Silver Grizzly.